Okay, so we're trying this again. Hi, Hi I'm Caroline. <laughs> okay, so the first point is uh, x equals negative 4, y equals 6. And then the second point is x equals 1, y equals negative 3. And then you connect those two. And then you have to make this a right triangle to do the Pythagorean theorem, because that will get your hypotenuse, which would equal the line. And so this length would be 9, and this length would be 5. So then you do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And so our a value is at 5. So 5 squared plus b squared, which is 9, equals c squared. So 25 plus 81 equals c squared. And then and 25 plus 81 is 106 equals c squared. And then you just square root both of them. And the square root of 106 run into the nearest tenth is 10.3. So my name is Liam Wolf, and I like to do math. So I got, oh, <laughs> forget that. So I got 2.5 is equal to 3.5x, which is equal to 8 minus 4x minus 6. Wish out. OK. Then you want to do is you want to add that 4x. Oh, yeah, they are. <laughs> Plus 0.5x is equal to 8 minus 6. Then what you want to do is you want to subtract 2.5. And 8 minus 6 is obviously 2. And then you get negative 0.5 is equal to 0.5x. And you divide both, both by 0.5. And in the end, I'll just write it right here. You get x is equal to negative 1 because that's a negative. Yay. OK. So what I did is I just did long division. And I divided um, 6 by 11. I know that. Oh, OK. Well, so I have to add decimal because 11 doesn't go into 6. You put the decimal point up there, and 11 goes into 6 five times. That equals 55. That's not a 5. OK. Um, then you subtract, and you get 5. Or Wait a minute. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I don't. Sorry. I'm sorry. OK. Um, <laughs> one second. <laughs> OK. OK. And then you add another decimal, and you bring that down. And it goes in four times. 11 times 4 is 44. And then you subtract, and you get 6. And then you bring down another decimal, and then you realize, wait a minute, I already got that. And so it's just 0.54 repeating. Yeah. I'm Felix, and I'm going to be solving this system of equations problem. So you look at the equations, y equals 2 thirds x plus 3, and 3y plus 2x equals negative 6. You see that you have y in this problem, and you have equals y in this problem, so that means you can substitute. So you can substitute 2 thirds x plus 3 for y in this problem, but since there's But since there's 3y, you first have to multiply 2 thirds x plus 3 times 3, which would be equal to 2x plus 9. And then you can substitute that for y. So then you would get the equation 2x plus 9 plus 2x is equal to negative 6. And so you would add the similar terms, which are 2x and 2x, so that would be 4x plus 9 equals negative 6. And then you would subtract 9 from both sides, and you'd get 4x is equal to negative 15. And then you divide both sides by 4, and then x 
would be equal to negative 3.75. But then you have to find the y value, so you plug negative 3.57x into the y equals 2 thirds x plus 3. So that would be y is equal to 2 thirds um, times negative 3.75 plus 3. So 2 thirds times negative 3.75 is, oh, can somebody help me here? I forgot. 8. Is 8. Wait. Okay. Where is that? Okay. So, 3.75. Okay. Negative 3.75. times um, 0.66666 is equal to 2.5. So y is equal to 2.5 plus 3. And then 2.5 plus 3 is equal to 5.5. .5. And then, so it would be x, your x would be negative 3.75, and then your y would be equal to 5, 5.5. 5. Oh, Lordy.